Okay, so hopefully um, you were able to get everything uh, loaded up, get your uh, variables.csv. And so in this one, we're just going to try and look at our answers. And the um, best thing to do is to, is to just keep working with the same data set that we've been calling data. Okay. And so it says, well, how many data point values? In other words, how many, um, <clears throat> uh, what are the counts? And so we, we have different um, values here. All right, and so we actually already did this in the, uh, so I'll check it again. So I say, all right, shift, enter, and there we go. So uh, in for our field, uh, insulin dependent diabetic, 554, no, 53, yes. Okay, how about um, survey question one? Okay, so survey question one, I think was, um, there were five different possible answers. And you notice it didn't order it, so there's probably something we can do um, to order these answers. Uh, and five, one, two, three, four. So I wonder, let's just just try it again and see what happens. Five, one, two, three, four. So I run it and I get five. So there's something about it, but it does seem like, uh, yeah, like you'd, you'd want to do it either in, in their order, one, two, three, four, five, or in the order of uh, most popular to least or least to most. So that, that's a strange one. But we're just doing the counts, and then you have to find the survey question name. Um, and if you're not sure of how to, you know, spell these guys, what you can do, what you can do is say data, left bracket, left bracket, one, right bracket, right, right bracket. And that's going to give us the first, um, well, that's not what I expected to get, so... Let me try one more time. So I know that earlier, let me do the second guy. So I thought what we would get <clears throat> is a, yeah, a record like this. And so I don't know what it was looking at. So if, if you're not sure, do something like this. I'm going to do one now as well. So I must have been caught up in that. Yeah. And so th these are the field names, right? These are the of the field names you can use and you can look up you know any of these things okay so treatment group what data type would you consider well let's go ahead and, and let's just grab this no it doesn't work let's grab treatment let's let's put in treatment group just look how you spell it okay so it's with capitals and let's look at what we get for data for it So there's three treatment groups, and so you notice how um, I think it could be that then your patients you're going to give them one, uh, you know, one vaccine or the other vaccine or a placebo vaccine. So you've got three different groups of people. Okay. So now the question is, what kind of uh, would you consider that variable to be? So it has a category, right? So we we call them one, two, and three, but it really stands for the, a named category. What about the HB column? Okay, so we got HB. Let's let's look and see what we get for that. So we go up here and say HB. And for HB, we've got a bunch of different counts. And notice how it isn't um, just whole numbers. So that's one where we'd say, oh, that looks like that ratio type numerical. So it's a continuous number. And now, last thing, can you compute the min-max of HB? So we can, and, you know, can you do it for other things uh, as well? So look, look at some of the fields you got. Um, so, let's look at temp, say. So, min-max of temp. Okay, so that's pretty interesting to see what we get. And that's it. Okay, so a nice, easy lesson. We just want to get set up on, on importing data. And so we're going to use that, and, and really um, next week we start in earnest on analyzing data, and we'll have you know, about 10 weeks of analyzing data. So we should get much better at it than, uh, than we were when we started.